Welcome back. This is still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, and that was best team video. Yes. Uh, so yes, let's come back to the people that believe to you. <laughs> yes, yeah, they believe to you. Let me say congratulations. I was so <laughs> excited. Me, Claire, so that I was like, oh my god, this is like a perfect pair because two of them are both amazing horses, and they will make so. <laughs> oh, sorry, I need a minute. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, I just wanted to tease out before I formally introduce you. And of course, we have the superstar joining us on the tea time table. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, did I you fall, you. Did you fall for the YJ trick? Oh, I almost did. You almost oh. did. But then I I know Rikasani, right? Mm -hmm. I almost called him, but I'm like, I'm not gonna do that. Let's just see this play out. It might be a music video and turned out to yeah, be a music video. Up. <laughs> can you imagine? That's all I like, so, but is that is that what it takes to be relevant in the industry now? Like just stay up a controversy, you know? Get not necessarily talk. a controversy because she didn't say anything. She just yeah. said it's time, mm -hmm. right? So she, it, we we took what we wanted to take from that picture, mm -hmm. you know. So <laughs> but would you do we see Femilea doing something like that this. crazy to promote anything? Yes, hmm. mm. with my wife. With your wife. <laughs> 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 no, she's single or she's not married, so it's allowed. Sure. Definitely. It's allowed. You know. All right, so let's talk about you. Mm -hmm. That that was that was a brilliant performance. Thank and you, I'm man. sure Thank I, you. I don't think you've done that anywhere else since this is the first world premiere, first performance of Pendulum. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the tea time. Yeah, 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 yeah. We always we always the first. We're always the first. Yeah, we do always So um tell us about Pendulum, because I know listening to it like I I slept on it for a long time, mm -hmm. you get me? It was released like three days ago, and I feel like it's a long time, long time since it came out. <laughs> listening to the whole EP. So yeah. I actually started listening like this morning, and yeah, very early this morning. Yeah. And it's been amazing. It's been an amazing journey. There's, there's some songs that on repeat, and yeah. I just feel like the song has meaning to me. Like yeah. each song tells a story, story for yeah. me personally. But I'd like to know for you, are there stories behind each song? Oh, yeah, there are stories behind. Every every song was carefully crafted, written, composed, hmm. performed, wow, and mixed. Mm. I have to put that also. Um, I was very intentional about it. It's so funny, you know, during the pandemic, it's not like we're not still in a pandemic, but mm. when, you know, in the height of the pandemic last year, okay. uh, obviously I was in the house with my son and my wife and, you know, and I just discovered lo-fi. I've always known lo-fi, you know, the, the genre on YouTube mm. where, you know, but then the, 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 the sound just appealed to me. And for like two weeks, we we'll just, you know, play lo-fi on YouTube. We we'll just be streaming, just be doing things around the house. And then I realized that I started writing melodies from within, mm. which is not strange, but it's been a while. Mm. I'm talking, last time I wrote like this was probably 2014, 2013. So it's been a while. And I started hearing the sound. So... I went into the studio, I didn't tell my wife, and I just started creating. I, I had my headphones on instead of studio monitor so that mm. nobody would hear. Okay. And I crafted, you know, I started writing. Then we started going through life, mm -hmm. right? Um, all right came when I was not all right. Mm. Mm. So it was more of like, uh, I'm going to be all right. Mm -hmm. He actually had lyrics, he had, I sang everything I recorded, but my wife told me to yank it out that they, it's better for me to express myself with my instrument than to sing for that particular mm -hmm. song. And she was right. And I played mm -hmm. and it was amazing. Um, obviously, beautiful moments. It shared mm -hmm. out of, you know, having people around, family, friends, you know, during Christmas, Thanksgiving, okay. if you do it, you know, you are getting married, family comes over, you hear children, you know, just moving around and that parents, be, aunties, do you understand? That was, a, you yeah. know, so when you listen to the, in the beginning of the song, you can hear people in the background that I recorded, you know, sure. somewhere. You know, and then obviously, I, you have Timile and Tawa, they are my children. Timile is my son, and Tawa is my mm -hmm. daughter. And I wrote that, you know, uh, based on the happenstance around them. My son is a very calm person, you know, mm. he thinks a lot, he thinks a lot, he, he, you know, he reads a lot, and he's still mm -hmm. very young, but he's always playing. So, mm -hmm. as, as a child should, mm -hmm. but I, I, as far as I know, the kind of person he is. So, I wrote that song from that knowledge. And my daughter, a coming was a celebration because my mm. wife was seven months pregnant before we discovered she was pregnant wow. and everything that went around it to the hospital and everything. I just realized that I needed to celebrate. Mm. So my wife told me it has to be a celebratory track. 
Okay. And then they walk That's on the beach. That's why it's the Afrobeat. Yeah, that's that. Yeah, that Afrobeat vibe. And then we walk on the beach, you know, where you're the loved one, significant other, and you're walking on the beach talking about your life or your plans and how, why you love each other. And you're in mm -hmm. this peaceful, serene environment. You, the waves are going. It's just a perfect, you know, mm -hmm. uh, we like to call it soundtrack to mm -hmm. your life, if we will, you know. Mm -hmm. And I, I realized that it was a soundtrack to my life, and it would be a soundtrack to yeah. everybody else. So, okay, yeah. I'm just like if I said I think I actually slept on you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll be, the, I'll admit it right now. But after this performance, I must say you are amazing. And I love the fact that you have your own your own sound, which is yeah. different from every other. Yeah. But I really need to know what uh, what developed your love for music. Like where did it start from? What, what inspires you to write music? I'll blame my dad because. Hmm. Uh, growing up in the late 80s to 90s, okay. we, you know, we had vinyls in the house, and my dad was always playing Ubis, and, which I hated at the time. I would not lie, because I'm like, I want to listen to you, and all that. And I, but I didn't know that music was already getting into my bloodstream. And I later found out that my dad actually wanted to learn how to play the guitar at a point in his life. Okay. And his dad didn't allow him. So when I wanted to learn, he just gave me a free hand to do it. So, Music was in the house. My mom is still in the choir till this day. Wow. Mm -hmm. You know, she sings. I got my ability to compose from my mom because my mom can make up a song on this table right now wow. about everything that we are doing right now. And she will sing and it will make sense. So I took that from her. So even though I'm not from like a traditional musical family, I'm probably the first musician in my generation, but okay. I had a very beautiful background with my family. So that was where it started. All right, okay. so Whiskey came out recently to say that um, family keeps him grounded, you know? Mm -hmm. he, that's where his creativity actually comes from. And, um, you know, from the story of each song, I can see one relating to your wife yeah. or the family, you yeah. know, the people around. Mm -hmm. You have a song for your son, a mm -hmm. song for your daughter. How would you say that family has helped influence and shape the man which you are today? Yeah, I think it, it has. I've, I, I can, well, right now I see the world in a different lane, you know? Being a husband is one thing, mm. but being a father is also another thing. And being mm. a father to a boy and a girl is totally different because mm. you now see the world through their eyes. Mm. And, you know, not just the now, but the future, future. Mm. you know. So, um, whatsoever, if I was grinding on like 70% uh, before, right now it's like 250. Because mm. now I know that I have people, you know, that are looking up to me. That I have to be a good role model for, not just be a good husband or a good mm -hmm. father, but a good person in general. So... Mm. My writing also comes from there, you know. Yeah. I'm greatly inspired by my family right now because I see things that go on every day and I'm like, okay, oh. I'm seeing my children develop and, you know, start trying to make sounds or learning how to walk or moving and stuff like that. So there's a lot of inspiration around that. And then see my wife, you know, do what she does. She's an amazing, incredible artist, you know. Uh, yeah, so I'm very, very grounded by my family. Obviously, my, my dad and my mom, my brother, my sister, my mm. in-laws and everybody mm. around me. Yeah. Okay. All right. So basically, <laughs> right, we're going to focus on our pendulum right pendulum. now. Pendulum! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> a little bird told me. I don't want to say who this is. Okay. I don't slap me from the guy. Let me tell you. So the first place you performed um, songs from Pendulum, right, yeah. was um, when you were working with, alongside your wife, you know, yeah. creating art and creating yeah. music. Yeah. Now, you see, there's an infusion of art and music, especially when it's just sound. There's something True. about good sound and art, right, that they just go on and on, like True. you can't take that away. Now, what's the future for that type of industry? Are you going to be delving into that more, you know, where you have timeless music, because I can say, if I do say so myself, yeah. your music is timeless, yeah. because it's something that will stand the test of time. Are we going to be seeing more of that, you know, you delving into the art space with your music and, you know, put bringing it together? Yeah, definitely collaboration. I've already started collaborating, mm -hmm. you know, uh, obviously with my wife now. Mm -hmm. uh, some of the artworks that I've done in the past have been created by my wife. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, but now we are getting on stage together, you know, with Pendulum, mm -hmm. we started, you know, with Pendulum chasing that feeling, having people in the room and then creating this music while she was painting and, mm -hmm. you know, like a two-hour show, like almost like a life therapy session where okay. people can just come decongest because we all go through it. True. And not every time you want to hear, you want to dance, sometimes you just want to calm and, and just relax. sit down and just relax. Mm -hmm. You know, there's time for everything. So definitely a lot of collaborations in the future. But also, um, I know I'm here for a very long time. Mm -hmm. And um, just like wine, wine ages... The years, mm -hmm. you know, so 
whatever it is that you're listening to right now, definitely will get better in the next yeah. year and sure. five years and ten years yeah. from now. So, okay. you know, I, have, I still have a lot of things to say. I'm a storyteller by default. So, mm -hmm. and there are stories all around. Okay. And I'm not just the only storyteller in my family. My wife is also a writer and she's a mm. storyteller. So you can, it's around me, I can be inspired by literally anything. So definitely looking forward to collaborating with a, a lot of artists, not just painters, you know, also singers, producers. Mm. Uh, as long as we respect each other's crafts and we have the same goal in terms of like making music. Definitely looking forward okay. to that. So I need to know also, like, what are the major challenges or problems you face ever since you ventured into music? I yeah. want to know that. Okay. Uh, well, because of the style of music that I make, mm -hmm. it's not you know, Afro pop. You okay. know. So the problem with the industry here is that everybody thinks the industry just really around is around Afro pop. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, you have genres. You have obviously you have gospel, you have jazz, mm -hmm. you have R and B, mm -hmm. but those other subgenres are not allowed to thrive because of what everybody's paying attention to. Also, you know, uh, not to put anybody on blast, but some people would rather play some popping people on the radio or their whatever it is that they are doing, mm -hmm. you know, because, you know, that is what everybody wants or they think that mm. they want. Mm. But then outside Nigeria, there's a structure. You hear country music, you hear R&B, you have different, everybody's doing well on their own space because you make music for different times, you okay. know. There's a time I want to dance. Yeah, I can listen to Whiskey and listen mm, to David Doe, definitely. But there's a time I want to just keep calm. Mm -hmm. And we can't all make and that kind of music. And we listen to Pendulum. And we listen to Pendulum. So True. we should be allowed to express ourselves. As, you know, I'm a singer, I'm a songwriter, I'm mm -hmm. a producer. But I decided that, you know what, I want to play the piano, I want to play the guitar. Mm -hmm. And I should be able to do that without being told that the industry will not accept, accept me for what I do, mm. you know. You have to get to a place of not sending. If I can. Did you that think that's way. a problem of structure? Where yeah, we we, are, we don't have a structure. Mm -hmm. and you, you know, you see a label, go and check out label structure and the music that every artist is releasing. Mm -hmm. Is almost is the same thing. Mm -hmm. Everybody's doing the same thing because they will tell you that this is what, what is, is paying, it? and there's no like it is obviously what is paying because it's what everybody is pushing mm -hmm. their attention to. Mm -hmm. But then I want to make this kind of music because I also understand that. People are going through things. People are depressed. People are not happy. People are frustrated. You know, people have anxiety. People have panic attacks. Mm. And you can't play a high beat, 140 BPM song for them to feel better. Mm -hmm. It might just be a piano that they want it to listen to. might just trigger. Do you understand? Yeah. And right now, because of the uh, of the way things are, people that are supposed to be inspired to do things that I'm doing mm. are putting to do what is yeah, popular, mm -hmm. right? And you're, you're supposed to have people that would take this up to, you know, and that's why I'm decided to just do what I'm doing. Uh, definitely, I'm collaborating with pop right. artists. Oh, yeah, I did I did uh, Rora with Ricardo, obviously. I was mm -hmm. a guy on guitar, you know. I love doing stuff like that, but I also love doing stuff like this. So I should be allowed to and not be judged express for it. Express yeah. myself, basically. All right, so what's, what would you say is the craziest ripple effect of your music that you have ever experienced? Ooh. <laughs> I think Pendulum. Hmm. Pendulum. I've heard someone already send, someone sent me a message a while back about a song that I did. It was just piano and vocals and they were depressed and they came out of depression and all that. But at Pendulum, there were things that went down that, oh my God, I will share just one with you. There was a lady that spoke that was raped 10 years before that day mm. and has never mentioned it in public before. Mm. And understand, I know what it, you know, because I've seen the situation. You know, for you to open your mouth and talk about stuff like that is so deep. And for a decade not to say anything about it. And she was crying. She was weeping. And she was visibly shaking. Mm -hmm. I had to turn my head from her because I would have just started crying because I understood what she must have been feeling like to be able to express herself. But mm -hmm. because of what myself and my wife created with art and music, also with us being vulnerable with our story, mm -hmm. She was able to speak to other people that mm. had other issues. What track did you just finish playing at that time? Oh, um, wow. I probably beautiful moments, mm. I guess. You know, uh, it, the show was, it was so beautiful. It was like, we're in another world. Of world our own. And, you know, just to see people. And people came to us after the show and said, oh, I started receiving my healing tonight, you know. Uh, mm. So even a friend of mine. How does that make you feel being a creative? Okay. Huh? Oh. Wow, 
Well, because me, I'll be feeling like I'm a doctor. I can't walk today. Mm, I can like decide the music to wear. Actually inspires. Well, you know, you know, the funny thing. I just, I, I just feel like I'm a vessel being used. That's mm. all. Okay. It does not get into my head because another person can do this, mm. and mm. God has decided that this is what you should do. Mm. So instead of being cocky about it or being braggadocious about mm. it and say, "Hey, na me, na me, na me." No, be me. Oh. <laughs> I can oh. play the guitar, obviously, but mm. God is working through me mm. to touch people. And mm. if this is what I'm supposed to do on this earth, then I'm, I think I'm doing it well. That is what I should do. Because when you see people's lives being changed and transformed, it's beyond any money that you can make. Because you realize that people's destinies are actually changing because of right. you listening and you doing what you're supposed to do. Amazing mm. stuff. So we're running out of time, yes, but you know, okay. tell the people where they can find Pendulum, you know, what, what's up with you, and real quick. Well, if you, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> let me just be, <laughs> anywhere music is being streamed online, music is being downloaded mm. online that is legal, please, you can find Pendulum everywhere. You can find my, my music. I have, I have two albums, one live album. I have stuff that you can listen to that will make you feel good, but Pendulum is available on all streaming platforms. I'm Femi.Layer on Instagram, Femi.Layer, one word, on Twitter, Femi.Layer, on TikTok. Yes, I'm on TikTok. Oh, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Femi.Layer, one, on Facebook. Please reach out to me, send me a message, you know. Um, this is not just the music I'm just dropping. Probably in the next two or three weeks, I'm going to be dropping something that sounds like this that will probably exclusively be on my YouTube channel. So right. you can also from the Femi, um, um, follow me on YouTube, subscribe, YouTube dot com family and then you can get a lot of amazing videos and amazing content okay so, yeah all right, so that's how we say it's a wrap for Femile, yeah? But before we let you go, oh, we're not even letting you go. Femile is going to be a guest anchor on Ooh, the show today. Okay. <laughs> so we're going to be doing Olo for Four together, mm -hmm. and analyzing like and mm -hmm. breaking down mm -hmm. things. But before we even do that, let's have some fun, guys. What yeah. you guys think? Okay. All right, so we'll be playing a game called Two Truths and a Lie. So you have to tell us two truths. We're going to start with you. Okay. Two truths and one lie. So we'll have to figure out which one is the lie. Mm -hmm. right? yeah. Oh, wow. Okay, I, okay, I know what to do. There was a time in my life that I had to go into a bush to become a better guitar player for two years, right? There was a time I traveled to Senegal to work with you on door, right? And there was a time I was in the studio with whiskey. Um. Ah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Oh my goodness, <laughs> this is hard. <laughs> mm. One sounds very believable. I mean. Yes, uh, you ain't this. No, I, I know the one that is a lie. I'm just going to go for it. You're in the studio with Whiskey. It's a lie. Yes. Yes, that's my lie. Okay. Okay. I'm correct. All right. That's, that's true. That's true. Ah, <laughs> so you didn't come to the <laughs> No, no, no. no, no I, yes, yeah, like you're right. Oh, well, correct. Saying, you're correct. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I've, I've I, I know I've seen you. I've never been in the studio with Miss Kate. Definitely, yeah. I've been in the studio with you soon, though, in Dakar. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, you yeah, definitely, I was in the bush for Tell two years. Tell us about that. Yeah. Two was, years. So I was, it was, you know, uh, I went to a polytechnic. So after my ND, I had to go and do my IT, obviously. Mm -hmm. But then, sorry, Dad. I was frustrated because I'm a scientist by training. And I was in a lab with petri dishes and all these things. It was so boring. I'm mm -hmm. so sorry, scientist. But I couldn't do it. So after a month, I decided to just quit. Okay. Thankfully, my uncle was the owner of the company. So I told my dad, just give me the letter at the end. I'm going. Mm -hmm. So I left. And then when I got home, like, I can't stay here. So I picked up my bag, picked up my guitar, and I went to a bush around Songo. And I stayed for a long time. And it was very close to winners, but you know, it wasn't developed at all. Like, if you walk 45 minutes into where I was staying and somebody was killed, you would never find a person. Wow. It was that thick. <laughs> and I was, you know, it was a small challenge, okay. you know. And there was a small church there that I was playing for. So that was just the only lively thing. Mm. But then before you get there, you have to. So I was there for a while, like, honed my skills as a guitarist. There was no electricity, so there was no internet for me. Mm. There was absolutely nothing. It was just me with nature for mm. the duration mm. of that time. And wow. Yeah. Amazing. That's, that's I think probably that's why I became. Why am I going? Okay. <laughs> why are you going next? <laughs> See, now it's going like this. Um... My favorite food is amala okay. and negiri. Okay. Second one, um, I love mixing fried rice. I'm not going to base it on, on food right now. I love mixing fried rice and akara. Okay. And whiskey, 
No, 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 no. David Doe is my favorite artist. Okay. You don't mix fried rice with a car. <laughs> Do you, you don't know people. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know people. That is the lie. You is don't know people. Is that true? Pick the lie. That's my lie. I want to uh, just go with that lie. You don't. You don't mix fried rice with a car. What's your first lie. one again? Um, my favorite food is Amalang Beggary. Amalang Beggary. David Doe is not my favorite artist. David Doe is actually your favorite artist. And the lie is my f um, favorite food is Amala and Begiri. I eat Amala. Yeah. Akara okay. and fried rice is amazing. Moving on. In what, what continent? It is. In what Don't continent? Don't try it. Try oh it. Oh my God. Rice and Akara. I Do you know I've seen I someone eat rice with gari before? Oh. Like mixed together. Oh, okay. Okay. Please, let, let us stop. Well, right you can eat um, 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 moi moi with fried rice, right? And it's both beans. Akara, I'm going to try it. Fried rice. I still maintain okay. it. No, I I don't know. 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 Okay, so for me, um, I'm 43 years of age. Okay. Mm. I'm currently building my house uh, on Banana Island. Okay. And um, I graduated from, from Babcock University where I studied law. Okay. Yep, you know, 43 does a lie. And then you graduated from Babcock. So I did, yeah, not 43. <laughs> I would say Banana Island. Eh? Is, is that what you said? You're using your eyes out yes, of it. Yes, nah. <laughs> uh, okay. I, I like to be wet. I gave you guys two lies and one truth. <laughs> okay. 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 I didn't read Banana know, Island so part. I know okay. that. Okay. Is that. Your money is very long. No, I'm not buying, no. I'm building. I believe. Ah. Ah. You're ah. to buy land alone. Ah. Because. Ah. 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 Okay. Anyway, so but two lies. Yes, we, 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 we <laughs> lie. <enough. laughs> Anyways, like I told you guys, Family Layer will be joining us to talk about some very interesting stories. Yes, as Monday, what do you guys think that we're going to leave you hanging without discussing some of the biggest stories that happened over the weekend? Nah, that's not how we do it out here. So um, we're going to start with veteran music producer and record label executive Don Jazzy, who took his time to reply to a Twitter user who accused him of his, uh, to accuse his new signing era star for sampling whiskey's song true love a track on the award-winning singer's latest album made in lagos the user tweeted what did i just hear this new maven girl sampled sweet one she no even allowed the song age small later then go open their mouth say no be we inspired them with the wits quoting the tweets the maven record boss clarified that era's song was recorded before the release of made in lagos mm. Okay, first of all, I just want to admire the way the end on Jazzy answered the Twitter user by saying Whiskey is an inspiration because we all know that Whiskey is actually an inspiration to different type of artists. And I actually remember when we spoke on this table about um, not this guy that called out um, Whiskey and Bruno Boy for copying the song Ginger. Mm -hmm. And we agreed on this table that fine. There's no song that is actually your own. There are some songs that you listen to that, okay, this thing, uh, it sounds f um, similar, mm -hmm. but it's the execution. Yes, there are songs that are actually Yes, yours. with the beat. Like, no yes, but it's the way the artist actually presents it and the execution that make you know that, okay, this thing is amazing and totally different. It applies to movies too. There's some movies that you watch, like, okay, it reminds you of something, but it's the, like, the constructive um, work behind it and the research that will make you like, okay, this thing is different. So I totally don't agree with it. And the fact that, okay, she released it before we skid. So that's just my take on it. Oh, she recorded it before Yeah, we before we So this is what I would say. Hmm. Jazzy said something that you people did not say, and probably because I'm a producer, mm -hmm. I took There's a website called Splice mm. where we get samples from. Mm. I get samples from mm. Splice okay. also. And it's possible for 15,000 mm. producers mm -hmm. to use the same sample in a song. Now, because a progression sounds the same way does not mean it's the same thing. Mm. Not, mm -hmm. But obviously, the Twitter user did not know that. Mm -hmm. you know, every, it's just a, you know, it's like trying to explain an engineering term to a layman. You probably okay. would not understand. Mm -hmm. It's possible to use a one progression for thousands of songs. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody gets inspiration from everywhere. But I would not agree that the song sounds like um, True Whiskey's Love. True Love because mm -hmm. Whiskey also took the sample from, from Splice. Splice and we all paid for it. And the reality, I can take the sample and also create something for someone, you know, mm -hmm. and it will sound almost the same. 
but because we whiskey released his music first, mm -hmm. you know, then you know, say it's for whiskey. No, I, probably she even recorded the song two years before then or three years before mm. it was released. So, in I, as I, much I as in as much as I admire Don Jazzy a lot, I just don't feel the need for him to reply to every single person. I can remember the Eddie's Award when Olamide came out and said, Every child was a hit back to back, uh, ah. and then he came out, Uncle Olamide. If you want the yeah, car, come and take it. I, that was totally <laughs> okay. unnecessary if I asked. Because let Olami there run. Let him go on and on about it. Now, this Twitter user, obviously, is not educated like you just educated us about Splice. And anybody who cared to know mm -hmm. would have known that it was a sample, sample. right? Mm -hmm. So, um, I just didn't feel the need for him to come out and respond to everything. Well, it shows, it shows his humility. Mm. It's yeah. Because it's not... If I was the one, I would definitely have ignored it. You know. But then, obviously, you know, because I'm like, what was this guy trying to say? He probably doesn't know. And if I reply him, it mm -hmm. becomes a whole thing and it goes on Insta blog. Nobody yeah. was, I really don't want that attention. So mm -hmm. I'll probably just let it go. Because I can't say he's chasing clouds because he has nah, all the clouds. He has you know, all the clouds. He has all the If it was a music <laughs> journalist yeah. that made that, I would probably have replied because I'm yeah, like, oh, okay, you should know better. Yes, you know, just yes. to educate you. Yeah. But I also understand what Don Jazzy is doing. Like, because he replied him, Mm -hmm. Any other tweet that comes like that, you already got in your answer. Yeah. That it does not sound like this, you mm -hmm. know. Everybody's trying to be very, very unique in their creation. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. even though we almost, for the most part, get our sounds almost from the same place, you mm -hmm. know, it doesn't mean that it sounds the same way because inspiration is different. True. All right. Well done, sir. Mr. Humility. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. So we're moving on. Bibi Nigeria Reality TV star, at least season five. Um, is this still a star? Kidwaya has taken to social media and admitted to being proud in a question and answer session where he recently had with his fans on his official Instagram page over the weekend. The billionaire son admitted to allegations that he is a proud person. Mm -hmm. You know, when somebody asked him that, so why is he so proud? The guy was like, ah, that's the only way that he stays, um, what's he called now? That he can keep his self esteem and all that. What's your take on that? Do you think pride has anything to do with your self respect, your self esteem, and all of that? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I wish a fair was on this table when we talked about Kid Wire. When I was saying this guy is actually proud, she was telling me that he's not proud. He just admitted it with his own mouth right now. I feel like you don't need to be proud to show and um, to prove your self-esteem you being proud actually to me shows me that you're kind of insecure about some things in your life in my perspective because you don't really need to show everyone that okay I'm, I've, I've arrived before they know that okay you, you're actually a good person you are you are talented you're like this so pride is just kind of your insecurity building pride on befalls you. what hmm? pride befalls pride befalls Mm. You don't I say that. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, wow. Mm. Okay, right? wow. Dev, see, see, I, wait, I, wait, I, okay. I, I, I understand. Mm -hmm. I understand where you're coming from. Okay. And it's so, so apt. But then we're in an industry where everybody is trying to build a public persona mm -hmm. and a private persona rather okay. than being themselves. Now, if your natural self is being proud based on what you think you have, definitely there's a problem with your self-esteem. Mm -hmm. Because you should not be anything based on material things. Mm -hmm. There's a person in your core, okay. there's a person in your center that should come out. Now, because of the uh, platforms that are out there, everybody is trying to behave a certain way. Or oh, if I behave mean, mm -hmm. then people will respect me and fear me. <laughs> not necessarily, you know. I, I know I, I saw his tweet too about um, Erica saying like she's the most hated person, you know, mm -hmm. almost in that same line, yeah. that people don't understand her, you know. If you are yourself, you are yourself. Now, who are you? That's the very important thing. If you are proud, stay with it. If you are humble, stay with it. But at the end of the day, if people are jumping on you for being a certain way, mm -hmm. that's on you. But the question is, why do you need to be proud, though? I know, that's what I'm saying. That's there is it. no need to be. I'm not justifying him mm -hmm. being proud. I'm just saying that if that is who you are and who you want to portray, then the attacks okay. will be continuous. Yeah. But also, 
attacks will be continuous is because yeah. you know they want engagement. Okay, and so for me, sorry, because there's a difference between pride and confidence. We all know that. Oh yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. So for me personally, I don't see it like it's pride when you are well packaged. A lot of people see your packaging as pride. As pride. Also, yeah. Now a lot of people see it as you not settling for less as pride. There are a lot of go-getters that will never go for anything lower than their standard. True that. But a lot of people will tell you that you're a proud person because of this. Now, I'll give you a real-life example, something that happened to me on Saturday. I told you I, w I, I went to a one-year-old party on Saturday, right? So I sell, I have like um, outfits I sell to friends, especially when I saw I'm going to see, I'm, I'm sure I'm going to see a lot of friends around. You get, I'm going to probably carry some sneakers, carry some t-shirts. So I took a few. And I was going to, you know, I was marketing, not really mine. So my friends from there like, ah, if I, you bring any sneaker, come. Did you bring anything? I was like, yeah, they feel in the car. So we went to the car. Somebody wanted to buy something. So as soon as he, so he was out, he was trying to price. And I'm like, look, this is the standard price. So I should have took out 5K. Mm -hmm. Then he sent the money. How, of course, losing 5K is a lot of money. This period, if you know January, you know that 5,000 <laughs> is plenty money. Uh -huh. So I lost 5K already and I was already like very upset, but inside. <laughs> so the guy now asked me, have you seen the money? He did the transfer right there. I said, no, my account officer will confirm. That's why my friend said, you don't start. You don't. I said, guy. He said, oh, in the Lamba on our way, lad. That's what the guy had, the guy. Now, in the guy, I can't say, see, guy, it don't be Lamba. They just mistake being packaged as Lamba. Yeah, because sure. imagine yeah, I tell you my account office, I be one, ah, ah, on top say they sell t yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. They get used to account. You get, imagine someone that didn't know me or didn't have someone to say that. You probably be like, oh, nice, that's a nice. I say, if I'm selling pure water, I only wear suit and tie to sell it. True. It's just packaging. It's not pride. It's just give out what you want to receive mm -hmm. so if i want to give out something that i want you to pay for i want to give it to you the best possible way you can get it and that's just what it is and so i agree with kid wired at some time it helps keep your sanity sanity mm -hmm. your self-esteem your vibe mm -hmm. the way you want to be perceived but that's just what the world is whether saying. you're humble whether you're proud this world oh, then good dog. Yeah. 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 you know the story of kete kete <laughs> <laughs> mm. all right so that's okay. how we're gonna call it a wrap on tea time yes this morning we gotta go but trust me the greatness continues tomorrow thank you for watching join the conversation on social media with the hashtag tea time or twitter does applause tv africa remember you can catch up on our previous episodes including this one and all our exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. You can also watch Tea Time on Outer TV and in London on Ben Television. A big thank you goes to my co-anchors. <laughs> yes, yeah, I'm officially one of our co-anchors. Yes. Yeah, our guest anchor this morning. Big shout out to my family. Like, yeah. And yes, you did, you did a great job, you know, from <laughs> yes. the performance to the interview. Thank you so much. And to doing a little for with us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and of course, any baby, thank you know you. I can't forget. And the entire production team, thank you for watching Plus TV Africa. Africa's tea time. My name is Ifel Shinkai.